Good morning, Eileen Sharon here. Today it's all about the core on the floor, but supine on our backs. So we know that we do a lot of planks, and that really helps to strengthen the core. Today I'm going to show you some other examples of exercises that I love to do with weights. I'm going to use a foam roller and weights today. You can do some of these on the floor. So let's start off with a V up, V down. Notice I'm leaning back to engage the core. My legs are super light. I'm on the front third or up and over the top of that roller. And these are called V ups, V down. So you're going to just go to the chest, V up, pike forward and tap behind you. Now you don't want to move too quickly on these. You want to move nice and slowly so that you can engage your core. You can go as heavy as you feel you're able to do. Good morning, everyone. And these are extremely challenging if you add a lot of weight or maybe do one at a time. So you can do bilateral work or unilateral work, either one, constantly engaging the core. And then the second one I want to do is a chest press. So in this position, you're going to do a traditional chest press, although it's going to be up a little bit. So you're going to go arms all the way up, contract the abdominals. My arms are in front of me to engage the core. I'm going to go contraction, release, and chest press. As you contract those abdominals, I really want you to think, pull the leg, don't lift the leg. Pull the leg from the abs and I'm gonna change sides in a couple seconds. You can do this again bilaterally, which is both sides, or you can do one-sided, which is also gonna be really fun for the body to maneuver the core in the perfect spot to do this effectively. The third exercise, I'm gonna come on down, and I'm gonna put that roller right at the bra line. I'm gonna grab both just to have both in my hands. And we're gonna do a crossover. When you cross the midline of your body, this is a great way to strengthen the core. So here I go, I'm gonna go out, I'm gonna tap down, and then as my leg goes across, I'm gonna alternate. Same arm, the leg is gonna go cross knee. look at the rotation in the core, and then tap down. Now my head is up. If you're uncomfortable keeping your head here, you can always put your weight down and support your head. This is also going to change the way it feels because you don't have a stabilizer on that one side. So as much rotation as you can do. Moving across the body is great brain training. It's also amazing for the core because you get rotation. So you can do any rep here and the slower you go, the better. Notice my arm is going right over my chest not over my face. You don't want to drop that weight directly over the face. So let's do another one in this position since we're down here. These are overhead extensions, same arm to leg. So I'm going to start here, keep this arm held in place for now, and you're going to reach as far as you can and contract the abdominals. So it's reach, you're engaging the butt to keep the body centered right here, and this is a great way as your arms go back, close this rib cage. Don't allow the rib cage to expand. And you want to reach, get that shoulder strength, the hip strength, and then contract. And if you'd like to go a little harder, both arms up and contract even further. So out and release. Of course, you want to do both sides. And if you want to play with this a little bit, you can do rotation. So watch. Out and in out and in. Any form of circle is going to be great and you can follow that with the arm if you like. I love those. Very tough coordination for me as well. You got to think of both directions at the same time. And then for the last one, I'm going to move my microphone so I don't get it under the roller, is an overhead release overhead reach, sorry, overhead reach, rib cage closed again, tight butt, and as you bring the weights in, wh oh, here we go, I told you that would happen, <laughs> we're going to walk our way up, walk our way up. Now, we do walk-ups a lot on the stability ball, but this is a great opportunity to use the foam roller as another tool. So as you contract those abdominals, lift, 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 and if you want to combine another exercise, you can open it on up, one leg, Come on in, Keep, make sure that mic doesn't get mushed. Overhead reach, contract those abdominals, and then contract the abs and round the back to pull up 
so that you go all the way to a seated position. I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial on stability, core, with weights and the foam roller, but all supine, all on your back. Have a great day. I look forward to seeing you on Wednesday. And um, if you have any questions about these exercises, please feel free to write me. Bye, guys.